Hello YouTube, I am here to try to address uh, what could be called the elephant in the room in creating one of these from the very beginning before it became a craze, before it took off um, and everyone started making them. Uh, <coughs> the big problem we have is you could call it a DIY community and in a DIY community you have people of all different types of skill sets now the big <laughs> where I expected to see the trouble starting was uh, when people were stripping down these laptop batteries to get cells that's where I expected to see uh, a lot of the trouble uh, the moment you break down uh, a laptop battery to uh, strip out the cells to proceed to test and find the best ones for your power wall um, I expected people to be having accidents there and uh, like burning themselves or setting fire to the workbench but it wasn't actually the case the, the first first um, first few incidences of accidents I encountered on the internet or through YouTube was actually people charging uh, one cell which was one chemistry at a different ore even worse uh, char trying to charge primary lithium cells which are lithium based cells which cannot be recharged they are there single use if, if the information should be on the cell and if you don't know then you don't charge it uh, secondly uh, <laughs> I done some really cringeworthy stuff previously where I had zero voltage cells and this was before I started making bigger things where I jump start the cell into making uh, a um, a good cell out of a flat dead cell. Um, I think I've deleted the videos where I did that, so it can't be copied, or at least it's, it can't be shown that I was the one. <laughs> I was one of the people that were doing this. And my inspiration came from people like Rinoa Super Genius, where he was using individual cells, a handful of cells for lanterns and things. I thought I can do that. So, um, that out of the way, uh, people were charging, discharging, and uh, started coming across incidences. Sorry, it's the first thing in the morning. Incidences of uh, cells randomly going off. Uh, I've seen pictures of people storing cells in buckets, no, no, not evenly stored or, or sort of stacked. Polarity all facing different ways, um, not neatly stacked at all all in a bucket lovely because the only bit of insulation that you have between the positive and the negative is right there in between there and if you knocking cells against that that <laughs> eventually you're going to get one go off and apparently one leads to the second leads to the third leads to the fourth and then your bucket's on fire uh, so <sighs> i took a step back from uh commenting on some of these posts because I try to raise uh, a serious question, not about the safety of uh, power walls, but more uh, on the side of a Facebook group that I was on, um, issued advice on a particular tool, and the tool uh, then bit the person who was using it, and solicitor's letters got sent out. I tried to raise the, this point to the community and uh, <laughs> basically got told, <laughs> get out or delete this guy so I went my route I would show off my projects and my progress but I would no longer give uh, advice uh, we're now at the stage where there's been several uh, fires um, I'm not going to show any examples because they're not my photos um, somebody is apparently homeless now um, various small scale projects have been lost and equipment and um, there's two parts to this I'll address the bandwagon part first because I've seen it on trade groups where uh, there's an epidemic uh, where tools are being stolen from vans vans are being stolen uh, and uh, <clears throat> you'll get someone say oh my van my livelihood it's all gone I can't can't work and a GoFundMe will pop up and and the, everyone puts in a couple of quid and on a group where there's 70,000 members it soon builds up that person's got brand new tools and then you find out a couple of weeks later that person is actually driving around a Mercedes Vito with latest Hilti tools so you've got to be careful because scams are going to start to arise and secondly um, 
we're now onto the fire protection stage. Everyone wants to fire protect their thing. The only people that have ever called me out on any of my projects is because I put it on wood. And I put it on wood because that's what I have. I have no money uh, for expensive metal backing or cases or things. And we've recently had a fire in a metal case which wasn't locked, but in a metal case. And uh, it looks like it's exploded out. And obviously, uh, if you seal up your cabinet or any cabinet with something that is likely to explode, when it explodes, you are making a bomb. It's no different for batteries than it is for water. <laughs> water heaters, certain types that are sealed, um, if you boil the water inside and it's sealed and it hasn't got the escape route, hasn't got the method, uh, the means to release its pressure, then you are creating a bomb. Uh, I've seen pictures of these water heaters being pushed through brick walls. If water can do that, what can that do? That's six kilowatts. I know we are looking, uh, I'm looking towards Tom, a uh, chap called Tom, who's actually going to uh, detonate, I'll call, I'll call it detonate, uh, a 1400 cell uh, pack uh, in the names of science. I don't know when that's going to come up. I will probably be watching it. <laughs> so uh, I put a post up on the Facebook group saying, this is my wall. I would put it on the lower side of safe and then I listed my reasons. Let's have a look. On the subject of safety I will consider my system to be on the lower side of safe. I'm running two times 760 cell packs. Each cell is fused at 3 amp. Uh, I didn't put that's only on the positive side. Uh, packs unfused to each other but fuse holders have been delivered so this 7 is going to be fused and this 7 is going to be fused. Load out. Uh, load out of batteries, just 40 amp fuse currently is only have a 1000 watt uh, inverter for resistive loads and a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. 600 watt inverter is here, 1000 watt inverter is up there for the uh, water heater. It doesn't need to be pure sine wave, it was cheap, it's 30, 30 pound if that. BMS. BMS is not a current safety feature that I have implemented into my design it will be coming soon uh, funds and uh, time uh, permitting uh, but I will continue to run this in my little wooden shed on the little wooden board uh, in the meantime um, mm, 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 mm. I have made a dump load controller which will kick in at 28 volts so uh, any excess or any possibility of reaching an overcharge situation should be dumped into water. I like to add that hopefully I'm going to make my dump load so it actually pushes out as much or just more than the solar panels can push in so there's, it's not going to reach that limit every time it gets up to 28 it's going to pull it back down a bit. And I am going to add a redundant system so that if it gets higher than 28 volts, it kicks in that into a resistive load as well. So if the dump load fails, I've got a secondary which will catch it at a higher limit, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> location is shed. I have my full complement pack. Uh, location is in the shed until I have my full complement of packs. I'm looking for, to double that to make a 12 kilowatt system. Uh, and once I've actually done that, I will produce another wooden shed. Um, which will be fully insulated against uh, rain, weather, and uh, we'll put some sort of fire protection in there. We'll wait until the community has a, a good consensus on that, and then we'll implement it. All packs of uh, balanced leads, these are monitored twice daily, so first in the morning, like now, and once in the evening. Uh, battery and wood be my goal, but uh, funds uh, are low. Um, I can't put my experience uh, down to anyone's particular advice. Uh, I've watched so many videos and read so many uh, pages on charging lithium and lithium powers and the DIY subjects that it's all moulded into one. However, I will say that on the 2000 plus uh, cells I've actually um, recycled, uh, dismantled from packs, charged, discharged, charged, left for a month, uh, soldered or um, spot welded, I've only ever spot welded through uh, half a dozen. I've only ever shorted out two or three laptop battery packs whilst cutting the nickel strip off to obtain the cells. Uh, and I've only have ever had one uh, 
wouldn't say attempt to go nuclear on charge, but um, uh, it may have been damaged from when I pulled the nickel strip off and we had some bubbling. It wasn't hot and it quickly, quickly, quick, pretty quickly went to zero volts, so that was pretty safe. So my experience uh, shouldn't necessarily be your experience, and uh, if we take someone like HB Powerwall, uh, the, the, one of the big guys at the top of this, um, <laughs> how many cells has he uh, dismantled, charged, discharged, uh, charged again, put into Powerwalls, had in service, and not had an accident? Um, <clears throat> I might not reach that number before something goes pop and uh, we'll be looking towards implementing the safety features as soon as possibly possible. So the general consensus on the thread that I put in uh, uh, was, um, was looks great, adding one of those cheap voltmeters per pack will help spot voltage imbalances, that's possible I can do that so I can walk in and see the voltage of the packs. Uh, so just adding temperature, monitoring, alarm, uh, adding smoke alarm, adding automatic emergency load disconnect from battery and AC connections. Um, we have one temperature sensor, it currently says 10 degrees, it is in the middle there, it should be a little bit higher. Uh, we'll come back to that shortly. Uh, someone added a particular type of fire extinguisher, but that's uh, beyond the point, we shouldn't be getting to that stage. Um, someone's making a DIY BMS. Without saying like a killjoy, and well done for the job so far, but BMS is a must. Uh, you'll burn your house down, invalidate your home insurance, and potentially kill someone. I bought a battery room, and not everyone, not in everyone's budget, and it was the first thing I bought before choosing my inverter. Wasn't going to turn the thing on until I had one. Please protect yourself with a BMS. Yes, um, last year ran without a BMS. This year we're running without a BMS so far. It is on the list. It is on the list. And I'm afraid I might have to hack a, uh, a cell meter to operate a relay uh, to turn everything off. That's, that's all I've got within my budget. Um, get temperature sensors installed as well as the BMS. Um, so, and so, BM, so t BMS and temperature sensors are seeing like a must. No one has actually picked up on fire protection on this thread. Um, So that is that is that is all I've got on that. But it does look like HB Powerwall is changing things. It does look like he's picked up some lead acid batteries. It does look a bit suspect. I don't know whether he's uh, taking his Powerwall out of service till the problem is solved. I would like to um, point out that someone has also said I need temperature sensors all over my packs, but uh, potentially even a temperature sensor uh, per cell. Per cell, that would be a 60 plus wire harness each pack. That would that's beyond me. So I'm probably gonna uh, loiter in the background whilst things change in this community. It's reached the size where I'm seeing things that are quite suspect, quite dodgy, <coughs> dangerous, uh, and I'd like to stay on the safer side of that. Um, if you've got any tips or advice, or would like to add a comment onto this, stick it in the bottom. I will get back to you as soon as possible. It is um, possibly this is like the, the the first set of big changes this community is going to go through. As I say it's reached a limit and it's uh, quite big. Lots of people are doing things that are not safe. But as I say from the beginning. We are doing things that aren't safe. Stripping batteries down is not particularly smart. We're doing what we can do to get free power at a reduced price. Not everyone has a big budget. So everything that I've built here has come from YouTube funding. Uh, without it, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do it. So add your comment in the bottom. This is, a, I wouldn't say a dark day for this, this whole entire community. Something is going on and I don't know what it is. Cheers. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.